Making a vegetable that looks this good taste even better is one of the great joys of the kitchen. Blanching, cooking food quickly with a large amount of boiling, salted water, is a crucial technique for preparing perfect food. Green beans happen to be one of my favorite vegetables to blanch, but this technique applies to pretty much everything in your garden. You've got to start with fresh beans. If you see black spots, or worse, holes from mold, skip them and find a different vegetable. If they look great, go ahead and buy them. Good looking beans, bad looking beans. Also make sure to pick through a good looking bunch of beans to make sure there isn't a gnarly straggler in there. Cleaning green beans is straightforward. Snip off the stems. Stem. Tip. Blanching happens quickly, so make sure you've got ice water ready before you start. More on that in a minute. Now you'll obviously need your boiling water. You'll need a lot of salt, about one cup for each gallon. Get it on the stove, crank the heat, put a lid on it. Once you got a rolling boil, the vegetables that you're going to blanch, in your ice bath, you're ready to go. If you've got a lot of veg, don't drop them all in at once. Do them in small batches. If you drop everything in there at once, the cool beans drop the temp of the water and you'll lose the boil, which cooks the beans without breaking down all of their cell walls. This keeps the beans bright green, sweet, but not mush. There's only one way to know when they're done. Pull one out and taste it. Use this opportunity to adjust seasoning too. If it's crunchy, let them go longer. If it's just cooked through, they're ready. Pull the rest of them out. Once they're in the ice bath, you have to shake them around. You're literally shocking the cooking process, so those hot beans need all that cold water to keep them from overcooking. The difference between the raw beans and the blanched beans is clear. Blanching brings the cell's chlorophyll to the surface of the beans, so the color pops. Once blanched, you can use the vegetables however you want. They can be quickly reheated and added to your dinner, or you can do something as simple as this for a quick salad. First, cut your beans into uniform pieces. Start off doing a few at a time, slowly. If you're more comfortable, then just bang all of them out. Throw the cut pieces into a mixing bowl and hit it with a quick splash of extra virgin olive oil, some lemon juice or vinegar. If you want to take it above and beyond, use something like the citron vinegar. Four or five swipes on the microplate with a salty local hard cheese. If you don't have anything too good made near you, parmesan will work fine. Add a little black pepper, then toss it all together. Garnish your food with something that adds flavor. A little more cheese works perfectly here. Remember, you can substitute whatever you like for the green beans. The same blanching technique applies to asparagus, broccoli, fava beans, etc. This green bean salad is just one of a million different reasons to learn how to blanch properly.